All right, folks, well, the renovations, at least the first phase of them at Progressive Field are nearly complete. We are about, I don't know, 50 days or so away from opening day, so they pretty much have to be almost done at this point. And I will show you how things have changed here and what has been done. So here you can see the team office renovation going on and what I believe will be the beginning of the ticket booth removal. There's a whole string of ticket booths right down there that have basically been unused as far as I know for quite a while now. So we have the left field seat removal right there. One of the biggest parts of this. You can see all the sections have been taken out. All that's left are the supporting structures and the new, I believe, shading structure that they built there. There's really nothing that's going to be to these things. Just going to be a bunch of drink coolers and a spot for people to stand. And then below, you have the terrace club and the restaurant that they completely took out. But apparently that is not going to be ready for opening day. They're going to be working on it as the season goes on. So you're just going to have this construction site right there to look at all season. And another part of this renovation that wasn't initially talked about was the seat replacement. As you can see, if you look closely, the green seats are being replaced by these new blue seats to reflect the team's colors and also due to the fact that the seats that you see that are green were original to the stadium which opened in 94. And here on the right field side same deal seats have been removed full sections and you have shading structures being built for the standing area and if you look closely right here in the corner seats have been put back in where the shipping container platforms were because this seat removal is going to take out a lot of seats so it's going to cost them money for sellouts but honestly i don't think that that's going to be enough to offset everything that's been removed so i'm curious what the opening day attendance will be if it's a sellout because i think it's going to be somewhere in like the 32 33,000, which would be a reduction in capacity despite what they say and next year they even plan to remove a small section of seats in the upper deck behind home plate to build another bar so you're even going to lose more seats there And lastly, we have this new building that's been added to the side. There used to just be a patio and they built an entire structure on top of it with multiple levels. And that's pretty much it. You know, I wouldn't really say that these renovations really add much to the ballpark experience. At least this year, they're pretty much just getting rid of seats and you know, making it look a little less empty. But anyway, uh, that's what we have here, and thank you so much for watching.